So I was talking to Dan Bush on Facebook Messenger and he kind of reminded me that I have not changed the oil in Bugsy. Yeah, I've not changed the oil in Bugsy. And I really can't be bothered changing the oil. But I've got an idea. So apparently it's not in his dog description. <laughs> So the downside to doing an oil change is basically getting the car jacked up and crawling underneath as usual. However, my good friends Mark and Lisa dropped by the other day. They're the guys that got me the, the Canadian welding helmet. Now they dropped by with more gifts. A big plastic bag. But inside the plastic bag is an old man creeper. That sounds bad. Oh, look at that, it's even got a pillow. So I can take a wee rest and have a wee sleep under the car when, the, when it all gets too much for me. Wow, let's get, let's get better wheels and bugs he's got. Fantastic, thank you very much, Mark and Lisa. I will be putting that to good use. Much appreciated. So I'll get the oil change done later today. Uh, before that I want to get the front uh, carpet in and the gas pedal. Quite a lot to do today so we better get started. There's a spider on the camera. So let's have a look at this gas pedal situation. Why am I going around this side? It's easier to show you. Right, as you can see, my gas pedal is sitting a fair bit lower than my brake pedal, which means that in an emergency situation, if you're on the gas and you want to quickly get in the brake, chances are you're going to hook your foot under the pedal rather than just sliding across. It's okay if the gas pedal is a wee bit lower, but that's too low. The, the other thing is, the angle of this gas pedal. Now, you don't realise this until you've been on a fairly decent length of drive. But after a while, this part of the gas pedal starts sticking into the ball of your foot. I like to wear fairly thin-soled shoes when I'm driving to get a better feel. And this really starts to push in. Modern cars, obviously, cruise control, you don't really care about that sort of stuff. So I need to change the angle of that pedal to be more down the way, more flat, like the, the angle of the brake pedal, which is fine. Although you don't, <laughs> you don't tend to drive with your foot in the brake pedal. So in order to change that angle, I can't just bend that down because then when you press the gas, it's going to hit the floor and you're not going to get the full movement of the gas pedal on the carburetor. So my plan is to bend this up at this point up that way and then bend this part down the way so i'm taking this area away from the floor before i bend the top so bend it up there bend it down there that's the plan and then we can check and make sure we're getting full movement of the the solid carburetor to pedal linkage up here right let me take that off so this is my gas pedal what I'll do is, I'll take a, a rough outline on the card so that I'm in the right sort of ballpark and then when I think it's close, I'll try it in the card, see how it looks, maybe come back, adjust it some more. So this section here is where it mounts to the firewall. So I'm not interfering with this bar at all because that pivot point is good, is this section here that's, that's not right. 
so that's my rough outline. So I kind of want it, I want this section down and a bit higher up. Down and a bit higher up. So I'm going to bend it at this point if possible. Right there. Bend it up, bend that down. See where we go. Ear protection on. Check the template before we go too far. Yeah, pretty good so far. So now I'll bend the top bit down. I think that'll do it, so I'll try that in the car and hopefully I got it right first time. Okay, it may have taken me a few tries, but we're back on and uh, I know the, the angle is uh, still a bit that way, but remember normal gas pressure is going to be a bit there so that looks pretty much spot on and because I've bent that up it means I'm getting full full throw on the old gas pedal happy with that bearing in mind I've still got carpet to go under there so it's definitely enough there for carpet and no restriction talking of carpet let's dig it out and fit some it's in there somewhere. Let's go. Got my measurements. Let's get cutting. Time. 
So I'm going to do this bit, then that bit, and then fold that forward and do that in a one -up. Well, that's the plan, but you know me, plans change. Now, don't get too upset with the middle section. I do still in intend to make some sort of a uh, central console for cup holders and stuff. Okay, now I'll fold that back and get the rest on. Right, we're all glued in. Let me show you. Now, there was no way around getting, no way getting round my shifter cable. But as I say, I'm going to be making some sort of centre console, a couple of cup holders in the middle. I've also got the wires running up there. And for this section here, my wife is going to make some custom floor mats as well. I don't know what she's going to do, but I trust her. But uh, otherwise, the fit's pretty good. Not bad considering I didn't take the chairs out because, you know, I couldn't be bothered. So it goes, it doesn't go all the way up. I might add a little patch up there, but it goes most of the way up. But not bad at all. Now, next I'll be doing the side panels. The reason I've not done them yet is I need access to those panels for now. To firmly attach these fenders, they bolt through there. And I'd quite like access to the inside before I seal it all up for good. But that's my carpet. So it looks like there's some rain on the way. Oh, and I really wanted to do that oil change too. So I'm going to retreat indoors, get Bugsy inside. I don't want any water getting into the, the new carpet, not until it's dry at least. But I think while I'm in the garage, I'll start on the trunk area. That needs to get panelled in, and if I've got any carpet left, obviously I'll be slapping that on the trunk area. So thanks for watching today. I will see you tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to getting my sun flaps from my wife. That'll be coming up very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.